in, that died in Tucson police custody back in April. In all, TPD investigated six of its officers. These three officers, Ryan Starbuck, Jonathan Jackson, and Samuel Rutledge, resigned last week. Chief Chris Magnet says they would have been fired if they didn't resign. A personnel report shows a sergeant and two officers were found not to have violated policy. That report also claims Starbuck, Jackson and Rutledge showed disregard for policy and training. In the report, it states, quote, most importantly, an apparent indifference or inability to recognize an individual in medical distress and take the appropriate action to mitigate that distress, end quote. Well, this death happened two months ago, but the community is only just learning about it. The mayor said no one told her about this incident until last week. Tucson Police Chief Chris Magnet says Lopez's autopsy showed he had taken a large dose of cocaine and had a heart condition, while the chief says officers did not use any weapons or dangerous restraints in this case. Clarifying what rules the officers broke, we'll have to wait for the final report. I, I think I've explained that we have policies in place as it relates to standards of care for someone in crisis, um, medical, mental health, uh, positional asphyxia, excited delirium, covers, the, covers all of that, and uh, we believe that the officers did not meet those standards of care. The lawyer for the officer says he does not think they broke any rules. Chief Magnus says disruption over COVID-19 is part of the reason police took almost two months to disclose the death. Magnus also offered to resign because of this incident. Now here's how the public first learned of Ingram Lopez's death from a local city council member. Lane Santa Cruz posted on Facebook back on Tuesday saying she wouldn't be attending the city council meeting because of the death. She says the department should have handled the case differently. While the mayor has said she'll think about the chief's resignation, Santa Cruz said she would accept it. She told Kega 9, quote, if Chief Magnus wants to leave, that's on him. Tucson is our home. Leaving for us is not an option, end quote. And in the meantime, we are learning about a vigil planned for tonight at 7 for the 27-year-old. The BLM Tucson group posted the event to Instagram this morning. It will be at the El Tiradito Wishing Shrine in downtown. Again, this starts at 7 tonight. Now